Hi, this is Cat. Let me see. Yes, I am filming. Hi, it's Cat, and I wanted to try and get the sunset. So I'm not sure if it's working or not, but I'm gonna try. See, there it is over there. It's so pink and so gorgeous. I just wanted to start off with that, and now I'm gonna um, enjoy this for another couple minutes, and then go inside and um, finally do an update for Nitrific. Hi, so here I am inside now, and I've been knitting, 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 because, of course, you know, we haven't been posting or anything, but I actually have been knitting, because my shoulder's all better. See how I can raise it now? La, la, la. So, let me show you first the um, baby surprise jacket that I started, and you guys saw part of. Here it is. Um, completed just about. I have some ends to weave in, to sew in, and you can see... There it is. Oops, needle sticking up. There we go. And the buttonholes are right here. I have some um, buttons that I've purchased before, but I'm not sure if they're going to work for this or not. So we'll see. And when I get the buttons all done, I may give you another shot of that when it's done. I want to show you also this beautiful Lorna's Laces yarn that I just got the other day at Knitter's Mercantile. I love, love, love the colors. I'm not quite sure what to do with it yet. But I'm thinking about maybe scarves this year for people for Christmas. So um, if you're listening and you're someone who gets presents from me, um, disregard that last message. Um, and then I've been working on hats. Um, I really loved the Topi hat, T-O-P-I hat that Gerald had knit several of. And so I wanted to try it in the Noro. It still needs to be finished, as you can see. There's going to be a piece of plastic sheeting or um, canvas or something that will go under there. And then that gets sewn shut. And then it's a little cap that, um, you know, it'll look very cool. And I love the way the color is striped on that. Of course, Noro is known for that. And then I made another one in this really cool Ella Ray yarn. Now here's what's funny about this. Look at this skein of yarn. It is dark gray and it shows just a few blips of olive green and sort of a rust color, right? Well, when you pull the yarn from the center of the ball, look what happens. It's all these other colors and the dark gray is hardly even seen. So this hat has all these other colors and the dark gray is just little blips of dark gray. So I'm not even sure if the brim is going to end up dark gray. That will be very interesting. And then the one last thing that I have that I've been knitting on, or um, want to knit on, is this other new yarn that I got. It is called, it's the Regia Sock Yarn. And it's again, is really bright colors. And um, it's a self-striping yarn. And I have a pattern in mind that's called Queen Anne's Lace Shawl. It's actually a crochet pattern that looks really interesting for that. So that's what that's going to be. I hear my cat pawing at something, which makes me wonder. There's my laundry that isn't put away yet. I've been folding laundry. So my cat is pawing at a box or something lovely. You, you just saw how messy my house is. Aren't you lucky? You're so very lucky because my house, you know, is usually so pristine and you just happen to catch it on a messy day. So I do have some book reviews, but I need to turn off the camera for a second and go find those books. Hi, so I'm back, and I've got two book reviews for you, and this is going to be kind of funny. The first one is Knitting Under the Influence, and this is uh, basically about these women, you know, it's a chick lit. It's about women um, getting along in life and trying to figure out relationships and things like that. But it's got some great knitting in it, which is lovely. And drinking, too, which is interesting. And then the second book is one that I'm waiting to read, and I should be starting it very soon, like um, maybe even tonight. It is called Laced with Magic. It is the second in a series by Barbara Breton. The first one was called Casting Spells. And this is sort of a fantasy series set in this world, but um, in the town where this woman lives, she's the owner of the knitting shop, and she's also the mayor of the town, and everyone in town is some sort of magical creature. And so they are all casting spells and things, 
but um, nothing bad ever happens in this town until someone gets murdered. That's in the first book. And because someone was actually murdered in the town, a police officer needs to come. They don't even have a police force in this town because nothing bad ever happens because the town had a charm set, set over it by this um, owner of the knit shops, by her mother, who was a witch. Good witch, of course. So, anyway, it's a very interesting book because it's got fantasy and it's got magic, which is fun, and then it's got knitting, too, of course. So, I'm interested to see what Lace with Magic is all about, but I love, love, love the color on the cover and the beautiful black cat, of course, too. Yay. So, that is what I have. Those are my terrific things, and that was my knitting. I did some updating for you, and I just have to say, Gerald watch this and please post something because I haven't even hardly seen you even at work. So I miss you lots and talk to you later. Bye.